down, slide out, and then good to go. Oh my god, so system. easy. So easy, guys. OMG BG! Welcome back to another unboxing video, guys. We are back in Canada and we can finally unbox the Start Dash set. This thing took yeah. up half a suitcase basically by itself. So, <laughs> Look how wrinkly it is. Yo, I was a little upset. I'm like, how, this took up so much space. Like, yo, I don't got room to bring anything back. And I had all the other bays. But, anyways, this was totally worth it because it comes with your stadium, comes with a bay, and of course, the string launcher. I'm still a little upset at Takeratomi because they put our string launcher behind this massive paywall. If you want to get a string launcher, you need to buy this set, which is around like 50 Canadian ish. Well, nobody told you to buy the other ones. You <sighs> could just buy this set to get drawn sore, you, you know? You could, exactly. <laughs> so if you are looking to just buy a little bit of Beyblade X and you're not a bay tuber like us that need to buy everything, then great place to start. You get your stadium, bay, launcher, all you need. So let's get started. But I guess we'll take a look at the back of the box real quick. Yo, this box design though, so futuristic. Looks really nice, nice and sharp. Yeah, it does look really good. So Drawn Sword, 360F, exact same combo. Looks like they changed the color up. But other than that, everything else looks the same to me. Maybe oh, the ratchet color here? you see the stadium? Yeah. The color of the stadium? It's clear, not white. And it also has a black extreme line. Yes, sir. So we have like pretty much every variation of the stadium now at this point. Red extreme line, green extreme line, and now this clear one with the black. So yeah, we'll mix it up in different battles maybe. But yeah, what else do we have? Of course, string launcher and the grip up there. The grip looks really cool. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Let's actually get to the unboxing. But right before we do that though, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications so you don't miss the next video. You can find us on Instagram at Geek Dosage and on TikTok at Beyblade Geeks Official. Unboxing time. <laughs> Honestly, you should have probably just unboxed this in Japan. <laughs> Save myself the space, maybe? Yeah. Bam. There we go, all right. Stadium looks fresh. This is giving me Gundam vibes. Gundam all vibes? All that color. Yeah. And the black and clear. Yo, Gundam was actually like hella hype while we were there. Oh yeah, yeah I'm sure. Yeah, like when I was there, like they had promotions and cafes and because there was like big launches, right? So, and they do, yeah, they're crazy. also doing like the Seed movie too or something, right? They were redoing Seed again. Yo, Seed is my favorite. Ooh, Launcher Grip. Not bad. Decent size. Yeah. Reminds me of Sword Launcher a little bit. True that, true that. Okay. Then we have... The one the and only. The boring part. The String Yo, Launcher. We have to only share. Get. <laughs> I only bought one, so I can't fit another one. We're going to have to share this. I'm going to It's okay, launch. guys. I'm, I'm pass it to you. I'm sure they'll eventually <laughs> come out with a single release for the String Launcher. Definitely will. Then you got your clips here. Teaser and instruction manual. This is the same teaser that was in the previous bays, Wizard Arrow and Night Shield. Everyone already knows what this is. It's Night Lance coming out. Mm -hmm. And also, I feel like after playing with the X Winder launcher for a while, I actually quite like the Winder. Yeah, it's a nice upgrade. Yeah, I don't feel that connected with the string launcher after using the one that came with uh, Drawn Sword. It's actually decent. First things first, before we even look at the bay, since that's actually old, let's put together our setup. Old? What do you mean? It's new. It's new. new X. Yeah, it's new but old, you know? <laughs> So new mechanism here, which is pretty sweet. You guys can see on the grip, it has a little lock text. Yeah, man. And it's pretty cool. You actually just push in like that, or you can pull down from here like that. Yo, remember all the days of us trying to put the burst launchers yeah. into the grip and uh, forever breaking <laughs> our arms and legs, trying to put the launcher in yeah. or taking it out. It's almost impossible. Or looking super weak on camera because we can't take it off. <laughs> <laughs> now it's all over, so we just pull down, slide out, and then good to go. Oh my god, so system, easy. So easy, guys. This alone makes it so worth. That's cool. Yeah, and then string launcher feels exactly the same, in my opinion. I like the new handle for it. They made this part a little bit thicker, which is nice, but in terms of power and everything, very standard, right? Like this is like gen one of String Launcher. Yeah. So don't expect it to be that crazy. It's not extra long or anything like it's that. It's only right spinning. Yep, goes with your drawn sword. Yeah, I can't wait to see left spin bays, right? When they make that left spin launcher too. But overall, really nice setup for big hands. So it's nice. Big grip. Yep. 
really cool. Definitely the locking mechanism for the launcher grip is the most impressive thing. You're paying for the R&D. Yeah, so nice. Took them four generations of Beyblade to get it like this. True. <laughs> so in my opinion, this is the star of the show. Also, this plastic piece down here with the text, Beyblade X, you can actually remove it as well. So you can pull up, slide that off. You can attach it to the other side if you want. Yeah, I'm seems assuming. like a accessory, like hook. Yeah, later on, this will probably be expandable with other products. That's my guess anyways. So maybe they'll have some accessories that attach to here and then you lock it in by using this piece. Seems like on the sides, there are also holes. So I think they will be able to attach to something else. Yeah, just like how we had some expandable parts for our other launcher grips and bursts, right? They might add like metal grips here or something even thicker for people to hold. So yeah, this part, very obvious. Now yeah. quickly looking at the bay, it's the same old Drawn Sword 360F. But at first I thought maybe it's just the blade that has the color change, but actually every single part has a slightly different color. Seems like the uh, Beyblade BX07 edition is a bit darker. Yet the shade of the avatar itself, the dragon itself looks a little bit darker. They changed the color of the flames a bit. The part that spins has a turquoise color. The ratchet is all blue instead of like the clear plastic in the center. And the shade of blue is also different as well. The same applies for the bit, the flat bit. You can see here that we have like a darker blue color for the one that comes with the set. Let us know down in the comment section below, which color scheme do you guys like more? The original or the one that comes with the set? Now, the stadium. Yo, looks pretty sick. Yeah, actually Here? looks really mature. I don't know, <laughs> that black and white, very yeah. modern design. It does look pretty good. I thought I wouldn't like the clear that much because I was really feeling like the red and the green extreme line. I thought the black was kind of plain, but the clear stadium combo with the black looks pretty good. Hey, but that's the thing with clear stadium or just clear plastic in general. It once it damages, it's so much harder to clean. Yeah, it is. You can't fix those fine scratches. Yeah, the scratches are a lot more noticeable, in my opinion, on the clear ones. At least when we're trying to film anyways. So for the clips, once again, very easy to put in. Test bin with our new setup. This is really the Beyblades X starter kit. Word. Pretty nice, actually. Like, having the launcher is pretty sick. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh, oh shoot. shoot. Ah. Drawn sword goes crazy, as per usual. The launcher feels very normal, so don't feel like you're missing out a ton. I feel like the new winder is more of like a new experience. You might be more excited about that. Mm. Yeah, the string launcher feels very normal to me. Nothing crazy, but for those that love string launchers, still a great purchase. Three, two, one, go. Oh, shoot. What do you think about the handle? The handle is nice. Very, very long, which is good for those bigger hands. That's the problem with like the burst stuff. Sometimes that the handles were like just a little bit short and you actually might get a little scared if you let go of your string, it might come back and hit you. But this one, I'm not really too concerned about. Even if, even though you're not supposed to actually let go of your string. But if I do, it's not gonna come back and hit my hand because there's such a big distance. So that's nice. But yeah, that's it guys. So there we go. Clear stadium, you get a recolored Drawn sword, new grip, new string launcher. Not a bad set overall, especially if you're getting it from Japan because the prices are pretty good. Hopefully it's not too expensive for you folks that are buying it online. Yeah, if you guys are just getting into Beyblade X, this is pretty much the perfect set. That is it for our unboxing on BX07, the start dash set. Once again, the string launcher is probably the star of the show. The star of the show for me actually is this locking mechanism right there. <laughs> it <worked. laughs> Just being so easy to take off the launcher and everything like that is such a great improvement. Although it's a very small change, honestly, those little things is what makes me so excited about this new generation. So yeah, let us know down in the comment section below. Are you guys gonna buy this set? Have you already bought it? Do you think this is a better purchase than the starter packs and boosters? Let us know, okay? In my opinion, I think this is a great place to start for Beyblade X, okay? All right, and as always, Geeks out! out.